Hey beautiful, it's Darby and welcome to my channel. Today I have a pretty dope video for you guys. This is six DIY room decor projects. So if you don't know what DIY is, it stands for do it yourself. So these are inexpensive, easy, simplistic projects that look absolutely amazing. So you guys will fall in love with them, I promise. And this video is actually in collaboration with my beautiful friend on YouTube. This is Catherine Rose. You can look her up by Catherine Rose. I'll leave the name right here. And you can go down in my description bar and you'll find the link to her video. So she also did a six projects, lots of marvel. You'll fall in love with her. She's absolutely stunning. So after you watch my video, I'd really appreciate it if you went and watched her video as well. And if you did like our videos, make sure to give them a like and let's get into these DIYs. So let's start off with this faux plant. So let's start off this DIY by taking some foam just from the dollar store, putting it in any clay pot that you want, and then we're gonna go and grab our faux plant. So I got mine from Michaels and I didn't like how it was already rearranged. It was just kind of weird and it didn't sit properly for me so I just took some scissors, cut off the plastic around it and then I just bent the wire until it snapped. I continued this with all the plants because I wanted to rearrange them in the foam just the way I wanted to. So don't worry about it, it's super easy to puncture the faux plant into the foam. This just gives us the freedom to create the own plant that we want. You can customize your own plant if you went and bought it otherwise. So just continue this with all the plants. They come in kind of different sizes, so I stuck with putting the taller ones in the middle and then worked my way around the edge with the smaller ones. And for the final step, we're just taking these white rocks I found at the dollar store, filling up the rest of our pot, and there we go, our first DIY. This is our faux plant. Next up, we have this Pinterest-inspired cactus. To start off this DIY, I just took a paintbrush into some acrylic white paint, and I painted my full pot. I just wanted this effect to be nice and clean, nice and white, so that when we do move on to our little triangles, as you see here, that they stand out. So I just took some electrical tape, just cut off some triangles, and then I just put them simply right on to the rim of our pot, and I just wanted them to kind of have that bohemian style, so I took the triangles and I switched them, one facing up and one facing down, and I thought it gave a pretty cool vibe. And for the last step, I'm just placing my Ikea cactus in my pot, and there we go. This is our Pinterest-inspired cactus. For our next DIY, we have this geometric triangle. So the only three things you're going to need for this DIY is some shish kebab sticks, some black paint, and a hot glue gun. So these are actually shish kebab sticks and I cut them in half already and then I just lined them out in a triangle to get my form and then I simply hot glue gun each corner just to secure them and then I also flipped it around to ensure that it doesn't fall apart. I put a glue on the other side as well. So forgot to mention that you need six of these little sticks, so three shish kebab sticks, cut them in half, and then I'm going to be putting a little bit more hot glue gun on one of the corners, and then I'm going to be taking another stick, and then I'm putting hot glue gun on the other side, and to the top. So you can't really see what I'm doing right now, I'm sorry I totally caught it off frame, but you'll see in a second just how it all plans out, so just popping those two sticks together, obviously there's hot glue. Uh, to the top there and then I'm gonna put another dab on the bottom corner grab another stick and stick these all together so you'll see how it all comes together I just like how this will end up looking like it's metal and it's super expensive but it's actually simply just wood and it's super cheap and it's stuff that you already have around your house so then I just went ahead and painted it black with this acrylic paint I got from the dollar store and it ends up looking so dope So next up we have this cactus pillow. So 
I did copy some of these ideas from some Pinterest pictures and from some YouTubers. So if I did copy it from them, I'll leave their names down in the description bar if I can find them. But anyway, I'm going to grab a sponge and I went for a cactus feel. So I just looked up a picture of a cactus on the computer, drew it out freehanded with a Sharpie, and then I ended up cutting it out. So guys, I'm not going to lie, it is super, super hard to cut foam. It doesn't look like it here because I was just cutting in one straight line, but yeah, it was actually pretty hard and pretty difficult. As you can see, there was like a million little pieces cut out, but it ends up looking pretty cool. I kind of went for that messy vibe anyway. Then I went and got some fabric paint, super cheap from Michaels, popped it on there, and then I just simply placed this on my pillow in any pattern that I wanted. So I did three, four, three, four, and this is how the pillow ends up turning out. Make sure it's nice and dry before you pop it on your bed. Next up we have this DIY cement lamp that I'm absolutely in love with. So all you're going to need is to go to Ikea and buy this lamp. It does come with a base but I popped that base off. And then we're going to create a form. So I just took some cardboard, made my own form in the shape that I want to. You could probably find a little box to put this in. But as you can see that the core kind of sticks out and I didn't want it to stick above the cement so I just cut a little slit on the side so I could pop the wire right through there. Then I just went ahead since there was a slit and I didn't want the cement to pour out, I just took another piece of tape and I just glued that right up so that we have a nice sealed box for our cement to lay in. So just to ensure that the lamp stays in place while the cement's drying, because obviously it's not just going to float there by itself, um, my dad and I made a tripod and then we just took a little bit of wire and just attached it to the lamp just to ensure that it stays right in place so that as I said it's nice and straight while your cement's drying. So let's go ahead and make the cement. So obviously my dad had cement laying in his garage. Don't ask me why my dad makes a million things. He built our house. He's just handy like that. So if you're just a random girl living by herself, uh, just ask the guy in your life to go get you some cement. So I put about a quarter water and the rest of it cement, mixed it all up, and it made this cool paste. And then just in case I made some mistakes, I laid a big piece of tape across the top of my mold just to see where my cement was going to be sitting. And then I just taped it all up just to ensure that I didn't kind of get messy and get cement on my lamp. And then I just went and simply poured my cement into my mold. And as you can see, the wire is sticking out this side, so that will work perfectly when we rip our mold off. So just to ensure that it settles nice and flat, just take your four fingers and just give it a nice little jiggle as so, just to make sure that everything settles, there's no air bubbles, and let's let that dry overnight. So in the morning when you wake up, it's going to be almost completely dry. Mine was still just a little bit tender, so I just went and ripped off my mold very carefully so that I didn't kind of budge the cement that was still kind of wet, as you can see that darker part there. Lifted it out, and obviously you have to cut the wire out as well. But guys, that's pretty much it. I absolutely love this. I am so, so, so obsessed with this. I'm so happy that I made this DIY. You guys, it's so easy. You need to try this at home. Look how dope that looks on your side table. So for our final DIY, we're making a ladder. So you see this all over Pinterest, but if you were to go to a design store to get this, it'd be super expensive, so let's make it ourselves. So you're just going to go to the store, get some 2x4s, and then you're going to decide how tall you want your ladder. Next up, you're going to decide where you want your steps to be. So I did 15 inches down and then another 20 inches down. And then you decide how far apart you want your ladder so that you can cut another 2x4 to fit right in between there. Our final pretty much step here is decide what angle you want your ladder to sit on. And once you decide that, well, you don't have to do it if you don't want to kind of sit anything on your ladder, but I wanted my 
uh, steps to be parallel to the ground, so I just decided what angle I have to put that on. The final step here is just cutting everything, putting some nails to the side, making sure it is on that angle that you calculated before, and here you have it. This is our DIY ladder. You can put anything on it. It will sit nice and flat since the steps are parallel to the ground, and I'm absolutely in love with this DIY. Okay, beautiful, so those were my six DIYs. I hope you enjoyed them. If you're coming from Catherine's channel, thank you so much for watching my video. I hope that you subscribe to my channel, being part of my journey through YouTube. And if you haven't seen her video already, make sure you go check it out. It's gonna be super, super dope. You'll love her projects. And thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for supporting me. I hope you really enjoyed this video. Maybe try some of these projects out for yourself. And we'll see you next time. Bye.